Good afternoon, California Seismic Lab friends. I just came uh, out of our wall stream with a Q&A quickly about the, the Alaska 7.5 earthquake. Now I just queued up for you guys the uh, video back, dropped it back to just before two o'clock. It had just uh, occurred and just about two, five minutes into it to so ten minutes into it. Here it is. You see our e-graph picking it up clearly and all the other graphs as a matter of fact the uh, raspberry shakes show it too the testamesco valley shows it clearly orange cast glendale does and the e-graph man what a clear picture of that surface wave and the reason being is i uh, explained that it's uh, the vertical is actually not correct it's a uh, horizontal that we just put on this morning and it is uh, oriented north to south and that's why it is picking up so clearly the s wave across this new e-graph it's beautiful and it goes on for a long time it's it's a long period here if you drop this down about 10 minutes look at that and it it also changes in as you see in the frequency here it's a longer so what you see at first it's actually not the the s waves it's the real line waves and then you now you're seeing the love waves right here and they have a much longer amplitude to it than the uh, ray line waves do. So the e-graph picked this up beautifully. It's a great picture of a distant quake. And let me take you there. I'll size this down and we look at our map. So the earthquake here in Alaska, it's about, uh, it's quite far from Juneau, Alaska, as a matter of fact. I'll show you that. But it's right under this island group here. It's not even really named if you go on Google Maps. But this is in no, let me go to the map here. It's right under this set of islands right there. And and Unga, is it actually in Unga Island here? And these islands right below this, it's um, probably about a good hundred miles away from there still. But if we put a uh, measuring distance to that and we go to Juneau, which is here in Alaska, Juneau, Alaska, and we measure that till there, that's almost a thousand miles, guys. That's a long ways away from Juneau, Alaska. And then if we look at how far away from us, it's another 1500 miles going to Southern California right there. See, that's 2,500 miles. That's 2,500 miles between Garden Grove, our station, where our e-graph is located, and where the earthquake occurred here. Let's go back to this map, and it's quite a few uh, big aftershocks, fives, just, uh, just a dozen or so already of those five aftershocks, well, half a dozen at least. And it was a 7.5 right here. Uh, it's called uh, the 7.5 of, of Sand Point, Alaska, they call that. And it's close to the Ring of Fire, as you can see. I mean, this is the Ring of Fire. If we uh, scan out, you can see this go from Russia here, comes across, goes in front of Canada, the Canadian coast here, and comes down. It breaks up in this subduction zone is here of the Wanda Fuca plate, and it comes down, and this becomes our just infamous San Andreas fault line. So we are right here, Southern California, and you can see that uh, Juno, Alaska is actually right there. So that's about a thousand miles. There's about 1,500 miles more. It's 2,500 miles away. And yet at that distance, our e-graph just did a beautiful job. Look at that. Look at these waves. Look at this here. The, the huge difference in the top and the bottom of this amplitude. It's just gorgeous. It's a fantastic looking graph for a quake over 2,500 miles away, guys. That is just awesome. Okay. So let's see uh, if we look at our tsunami warning that we did receive about this. Lucky enough, it doesn't seem to be a real threat, but they did put an advisory warning out. It started with a warning, then an advisory. It never came up to the watch or the threat, for sure not. So that's a good thing. It didn't really put out a significant increase of a wave there. If we go to our, um, our worldly update on the earthquake itself, south of Alaska here, 1,000 miles of Anchorage. And the time was uh, 8. eight oh, but that's UTC, of course. I just want to say it was 2 o'clock. I'm like the 2, but the 2, the two is in front of the 0. Anyway, so it was 2 o'clock our time, uh, just before 2 o'clock our time. Uh, it hit California time. So let's go and look at this uh, fault line map. And if you look at these... Uh, Islands here, but it hit it hit right between the ROF here and these islands. Hit right there. Here's Ungo Island. And as you see, there is no real fault lines that are known here or shown here. Now, I did read that they say it's the uh, an aftershock of the earthquake of the 7.7 7 that happened here a year and a half ago. So, or uh, just almost a year and a half ago. So, that could be so indeed. But there's no real fault lines there. Up north a little bit more, you see. So it's probably just not really mapped out that well there. Okay. Just wanted to bring you guys up to date and show you those awesome and awesome love waves that we have on our e-graph. 
Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, as always, we live in Southern California, and we have earthquakes there too. We advise everyone to be prepared. If you're uh, buck out back ready, make sure you have extra water, food, and your shoes, and all the other things uh, that you need in a case of an emergency. On the globe, you can see them. It's really nice on the globe. The 7.2 is hiding behind here because you're on the circle. That's the big one there. So anyway, have a great night, everyone. Just uh, love having you guys always on our channel. We have a new store that you can visit it's a uh, caseismograph.com and you can go there uh, please subscribe to our channel give us a thumbs up if you like this hit the bell if you like to get notifications on our new videos and you can also go to our site or the store site and become a patreon member would love to have you guys so have a great night and we'll talk to you soon again god bless